Hey, what's up, guys? Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here, and welcome to some more Hearthstone Uncut. However, today is an interesting day. Today is January 9th, and with today, Blizzard has, well, released a couple Hearthstone updates. And I'll just, I'll just read a very quick synopsis of it. Essentially, Arena, this is an Arena-only update with a little bit on the Rakistan Rumble side of it. Um... They have reworked arena mode again so that every class has about a 50% chance to win. So basically, um, Hunter, Rogue, and Warrior have the quality of their cards like Epic, Rares, and Legendaries. Those pick chances have been dropped significantly while Druid, Mage, Paladin, Priest, Shaman, and Warlock quality picks have been raised. So with those classes, Druid, Mage, Paladin, Priest, and Shaman. So basically, 7 out of the 9... Druid, Mage, Paladin, Priest, Shaman, and Warlock. I'm bad at counting. Those six classes are going to see a significant increase in card quality and rarity, while Hunter, Warrior, and Rogue will see a decrease in that play drop. Um, as of today, those nerfs made back in December of uh, 19, 2018, uh, last year I can say now, uh, those dust refunds are completely gone. So if you're watching this video and haven't made the dust refunds, Oof, I haven't done the dust refunds. I'm not really a fan of those. Um, the biggest changes that they've made about this, though, are the rumble runs. Essentially, they've balanced out the... Um, they've they've balanced out not only the... When you play rumble, you know, we'll just call them the sets that you can pick up. Because if you're not getting a reward, you're going to pick from, like, three three sets that have different cards they've not only increased the quality of the cards in those sets they've increased the consistency but the biggest one is that they've completely reworked the boss decks so new cards um because a lot of decks especially my first week playing that i got completely shit on because that um the priest loa had like four to five copies of the resurrect spell and i thought that was completely bullshit um the shrine selection has been changed so that gotcha so they've rechanged it so when you lose to a when you lose so let's say you're playing as warrior and you lost to a hunter the warrior and hunter uh, totems will be in there and then whatever other totems that will be allowed so it's no longer rng so if you go on a huge like warrior losing spree you don't have to wait until warrior pops up randomly to play it again you can if you lose with warrior you can pick it again if you lose against say hunter you can pick hunter if you're not already hunter um but the last part that they talked about is that a lot of people including myself to an extent were very displeased with when they released cobalt and when they when they released cobalt in witchwood they gave out free packs um, and with Rakistan, you didn't see any of that. You didn't see any free packs. You didn't see any, we didn't get anything for playing the rumble runs. And essentially I'll read the last little point of it. As many of you pointed out, this decision just made the missions feel especially unrewarding. It's always more gratifying to earn packs by completing a quest rather than just being given them because we were given like six packs in the beginning of when Rakistan Rumble was released. Going forward, we'll keep this feedback in mind for the launch of new single-player content. So the next expansion, which it's up to anyone's guess at this point, we can um, expect to get some packs with that. So that's just how I wanted to open up the video today and just kind of talk about this nerf. It was nothing big. I don't play much Arena um, because this really doesn't affect me. But overall, it just looks like to be some of the solo venture stuff. But we have a Tavern Brawl this week. Very much so. Brawl Block, old and new. Ooh, using only cards from Goblins vs. Gnome, Grand Tournament, Witchwood, and Boomsday. That sounds like fun. Let's see what we got for Hunter. Probably see if we can make... Uh, we do here so this is basically just a standard tavern ball with uh, some extra components added into it okay i like it hmm actually no let's let's delete this deck
Do I have to fill it up with cards? Jesus, come on. Some of you may be like, but Dinner Daddy, you have quite a few, uh... Yeah, can... Yeah, delete. Thank you. Alright. I wanna have... Huh? Where's Warlock? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Let's go to Genj. Let's have some fun. Because I think there are a couple cards I want to try out here. I feel like if we really put the Inspire... Well, first, I'm going to put... I'm going to do a little... I'm going to put an OTK in the deck here. Um... Yeah, you and a galvanizer and we'll we'll get to that otk in a little bit here but basically let's look for an aspire deck bum 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 oh shit Let's get rid of that. I'm sorry. What? What are we gonna? Let's just do Hunter. And just let's just let's just play Mech Hunter, because Mech Hunter Mech Hunter worked for the most part of um. Well, Mech Hunter worked for a little bit, and I guess we talked about those nerfs. So let's talk about uh something else that I don't play anymore is. Mech Hunter. I um Mech Hunter was a really fun deck that came out right away when oh this is no wonder why it's all shitty. Uh Mech Hunter was a fun little deck that came out uh early on in uh Boomsday because it had explosive potential and it was it was a fun concept. It was fun to be able to use mechs in such a way that you know made them fun it was cool to see you know a archetype that had very little cards when i started playing hearthstone receive such a huge boost but then it just all fell apart i i really have to say that it just it all really fell apart firework text don't need a galvanizer uh probably keep it like that it just fell apart because um it, people started realizing that the Goblin Bombs aren't a win condition in of themselves. You can't... They're not powerful enough. I feel like the Goblin Bombs would have been very, much more effective if you, for say, had them dealing 3 damage to face instead of just 2. 2 damage just seems like too little of a payoff in order to effectively master... To effectively use it in a deck. I'm just kind of reading these cards because, you know, you open up so many cards in a period of time and you kind of forget what you actually have your hands, what you have access to. I obviously take the missile launcher. Giggling, why not? I'm not going to take Mechathune, but Norshi Kraken doesn't seem so bad. Now that we have that, let's get some removal going here. Rat trap. Doesn't seem so bad. Hmm. A few wing blasts. That sucker Rexar isn't allowed. Hmm. Probably pick up. Frame by oh, where's my favorite uh, three cost uh, three drop card in the game? I think we passed him. There we go. Through these guys. Uh, another one of these, and then for the last card, we'll throw in a, a copper tail imposter. Why not? It won't be too big. Be surprised if we see some uh some big priests and stuff like that. I feel like the wild people are gonna be absolutely stomping in this tavern ball. But yeah, you know 
it seems to me that Rakistan Rumble, looking back on it now with all the updates that they've made and that stuff, it was a bit of an underwhelming expansion. I, in, I, I don't like saying that because that's what a lot of people say. And I don't like saying what everyone says because I'm really impartial when it comes to expansions. My favorite expansion, I don't really have one. Everything brings a unique flavor to the game. And I enjoy everything that every expansion brings. But it just seems like this update was heavily influenced on Arena because, well, I don't really play much Arena, but if you hang around Reddit and Hearthpone enough, you uh, begin to pick up on some drama that goes on. And apparently those classes that I would talk about, Hunter, Rogue, and Warrior, really dominated the scene. Other than that, Rakistan Rumble might be more fun. I don't play too much of it. I know you get a card back for beating it, but for me, I'm very... Funny. Funny and cute. Maybe I should have actually put goblin bombs in this deck, because then why do I have the fireworks text? Uh -oh. Just keep booping him in the face, you know. Maybe, maybe with these patches up, I'll... What the fuck? That's... That's a meme. That's very much a meme. I have a 4-3 on the board. What are you going to do now? Classic. Piloted Shredder. It's a good one. It's a good one. Hmm. I don't even have enough to play this combo. Which kind of sucks. Whoops, misplayed again. <laughs> misplayed, but we got some damage on the board here, I'll tell you that much. Got damage on the board because I'm playing with my mechs, yeah. Got a young uh, Joey Bot, got a bag because he's got poisonous. I don't know. Not a good rapper. What are you going to do here, huh? I wonder... Micro machine to that. Lame. I think just push face at this point. Wait, why did I put Starliner in this deck? Did I misclick or something? Yikes. That's bad. <laughs> Should have probably put a void. Actually, Void Ripper is not from. Uh... Void Ripper is not from. Uh... Void Ripper's not from, um, Witchwood or Booms. I think Void Ripper's actually from Cobalt's, or is it from Frozen Throne? I don't know. I do have Lethal on the board. He's got to do something about it. I 
You gonna trigger that? The fuck's that? Nothing too decent. Nothing too good. That's what I should say here. He's gonna attack it. He's gonna go face. Now he's gonna trade in. He's gonna consecrate? Kind of slap him in the face there. Uh, he's dead next turn. He doesn't have any board clear, I don't think. So, bronze gatekeeper, puro power. That's pretty much game at that point. Nope, I stand corrected. Mother of God. So, he's going to trade in there. And it's going to hit that. And that's a well played, dude. Yikers. Boom, like that. Always felt like Mech Hunter in some regard was uh, was like an aggro deck. I just felt like it, like you got one, you got a mech to stick on the board and you just balled out of control with it. Let's see what we get here. Not too, nothing too good. Maybe a little bit of dust. I think that's, I think that's what it'll be. Just a smidgen of dust. A light sprinkle. Yeah, 35 dust. I think that Pilfer was the one card that I didn't have. I wasn't happy with the... Uh, well, not happy, but I wish the cards... So they rotated a bunch of uh, classic cards out, and then they introduced a bunch, which were just really lacking. It was RNG-based, and it wasn't... It wasn't too much fun. I want to play... You know what I want to play? Let's make a mage deck. Let's make... Let's make let's make elemental mage without um Let's make elemental mage without Janna. Hmm. Couple of those bad boys, couple steam surgers, couple of them, couple bomb fires. Said a couple bonfires. Hmm. What's next here? Tar Creeper for sure. Glacial Shard. Glacial Shard went in. Thank you. Fire Plume. Two of those guys. Arcane Tyrants. Well, those of course. Blaze Collar. Absolutely. Cauldron Elemental. Absolutely. Two Mountain Giants. I feel like, I don't know if I'm going to be emptying my hand. So, I might put two of those guys in there. Just to see what's cracking. Uh... Deck seems to be very, like, heavy. So, oh, Fire Plume Phoenix isn't exactly a... Well, that might be useful. Let's drop two of those and actually put a Flame Geyser in my hand. Um, so, let's dump that. And now let's put stuff that we need in for Mage. Such as Glyph. Cinder Storm's not really. Bum 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 A little bit of card tech, right? What are we looking at here? Couple three. Doom Seer. Doom Seer is not going to do too much. Let's book, look back at those elementals. No, that's not how you spell it. Elementals. Thank you. Elemental, thank you, Jesus. Fireflies are a staple. Hmm. 
Arcane Artificer. Actually, random mage card in your hand. Need two cards. Let's run with this. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get a couple wins with this today. See if Elemental Mage without Janna works. Because why not? You know, it's... Because why not? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 Ah, dude, it's already 325. That's lame. I gotta go to work soon. Probably start with this. Yeah, practically. Practically. <laughs> huh. Wait a minute, guys. That card plays exactly after you play the... 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 The, the, the Sapphire Spellstone. Or what? Emerald. Sorry, the Emerald Spellstone. It's almost like... This is... Wow. <laughs> Did Blizzard print that? The counter... That's even. Why wouldn't they make that odd? That would be... I should make that like a five cost card. You know. It might be a little bit broken to have that as a five cost card. But dude, that make odd pal odd mage so... So viable. Because the only board clear that they get that's actually decent is that flame... Strike or whatever it's called on turn seven. But that's way too late in the game to actually do anything. So this guy's playing like a rank 15. <clears throat> and I don't know why he traded in on that one too. Maybe he's afraid of me buffing it or something like that. I would definitely make prediction plays. Master Claw. So, many, so much net decking in this meta. I know I'm probably a hypocrite because I play Death Rattle Hunter. But I've made tweaks to that deck on my own. Uh, no one runs the Argent Squire, or whatever it's called. Defender of Argus, I believe it's called. Not a lot of people run that card. I run it because it forces you to either attack into eggs and that kind of stuff. So that was my own tweak made to that deck. So, it's not entirely in that deck. I also tried with Onesta. Yeah, apparently you can... um. Apparently you can get like gold teeth on this guy, but I don't care. Okay, so he's probably going to use, so, classic, wow, plus three health, are you, what? So my thing is that, oh, cool. Nice. Thank you for the hunter's mark. Um, it's not so good. He didn't start my hand either. I feel like if I play Leyline Manipulator, it's not going to be the, um, the best of things. But, yeah, what to do here, actually. I feel like because it's turn... I feel like that's probably my best play right there. I feel like any any tempo deck is doing great right now in this meta. Late game decks and tempo mechs. I honestly feel or tempo decks. I feel like this aggro stuff just is not. It's too flimsy. It just is. It's just way too flimsy to be actually competitive. I'll play Steam Surger next turn. So he used both of his hunter marks already, and he's not. We're hardly halfway through the taunt. Ah, here. It's probably got kill command somewhere. Ah. Is he just struck luck and not been able to draw any of his secrets? Because that'd be shitty if that were the case. Wait, so that makes that two. Wait, hold on.
<laughs> it's broken. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> nice. That was a cool combo. That's what I always loved about Mage. It was like, you'd always play these really finesse kind of plays like that. That's a fun card. Elemental Evocation? I want to call it Envocation, but Evocation. So you'll play Unleash the Hounds. I'm going to play uh, Call the Beast, Call the Wild. God, I don't even know Hunter cards anymore. I used to knew, I used to know every card in Hunter because I played so much Spell Hunter at one point. And there you go. It's a win right there. Fucking memeing. Alright guys, this has been Dinner Friday Dinner Steak here with some more Hearthstone Uncut. Uh, we talked about, you know, the updates today. And we made some fun decks, played the Tavern Brawl. If you guys could leave a like and subscribe, that would be very, very appreciative. Appreciate, I would appreciate that very much. As always guys, I'll see you in the next episode.